This video is made with the sponsorship of Ecrotech New Zealand, one source for all your beekeeping requirements. Hi, Trev here from Trev's Bees on Facebook and YouTube. Well, following on from the assembly of the Paradise Honey Boxes, we're now going to show how I uh, paint them afterwards. This is a bit of a copy off the Australian honeybee uh, man on how he paints his. Uh, so I have to acknowledge his ideas. Uh, so I like to paint both the inside and the outside of the Paradise Boxes because I find that the bees tend to chew on the polystyrene a bit. But first off, my little paint table. I've uh, refurbished this paint table and set it all up um, especially for the video, so it's all nice and clean and whatever. Normally it's, uh, it's all covered in paint, but this is a, a new tabletop that I've made. So what I've got here is three pieces of uh, sheet metal that have been folded up, uh, and they are bracing irons that are used in buildings. I uh, don't know if I've got any in the sheet here. Um, but they come in 2.4 meter strips and they put them as diagonal bracings into, the, into a shed into, uh, to stop the building going sideways. So I had a bit of this lying around so I've cut them off to 600 mils long and I've put three of them on. And the reason for three of them is so that when I sit like that, they sit on all three. But if they're that way round, they can only sit on two and that just makes life a little bit easier and by having that little fine edge that we've got here it means that the paint doesn't stick quite the same to the table. So I hate getting paint on me. The wife will probably growl because I'm painting with my good shirt on but she's inside not watching so I'm just going to show how I paint my boxes. As you've seen on the other videos that I've made, I like these 25mm 1 inch brushes. And you'll see shortly why I think they're pretty good roller brushes. So load the paintbrush up with plenty of paint. Just remember the bees won't complain about how much paint or runs or anything else. And I always like to make sure that I dip the end well into the brush, into the paint, so I get a lot of paint on it. Makes it life easier when I come and paint into the corners. As you can see, it doesn't need to be flash. I don't care if I run over the sides a bit. And if you put plenty of paint on the roller, you only got to put one coat on. It's polystyrene, the paint sticks to it very very well so that's the inside done now I don't paint the top or the bottom edge Now I'm just going to flip this over and walk around the side here a little bit so you can see why I like these small brushes, these small rollers.
Simple. I don't care that I get finger marks over the paint where I've painted. That's why I'm wearing gloves. I don't care about dribbles and runs. The bees have never complained once about the quality of my paint job. And as you can see, with these little stands that I've got here, I get no paint on the on the table. I can unscrew them later on. Take them away and then the table is back to being a little workbench again, which I take out on the job and do some other jobs with. Well that's the first box done, a couple more to go. Alright so we're on, we're on the last box there on the home straight. Remember plenty of paint in the end of the, the roller. The painting of these boxes, any bee boxes or bee equipment, it's not a beauty contest. Unless you want it to be, of course. But just slap the paint on. As much as you want or as little as you like. It doesn't really matter. So, paint, paint. One of the questions that regularly comes up is what sort of paint should I use and paint on my bee boxes? Well, my usual answer is cheap. I like to make sure that I only use acrylic paint. So any exterior household paint that you got lying around is fine. If you want to get all flash and carried away and go and buy a particular colour, do so. But I usually go to the named companies, the likes of uh, Resine, Dulux, Guthrie's, got to be a few other uh, reputable paint companies out there, can't think of them at present. And you go and see them and ask them if they have got any mistint paints. Paint that they have tinted for someone and they got the colour scheme wrong. Or got the colour mix wrong. They usually sell the paint to you for about half price. Someone even uh, that I talked to said that they put an advert in the local online newspaper, Neighbourly. And they ended up with so much paint, they uh, reckon they'll never have to ask for more free paint again forever. And you can give that paint, uh, you can give a bit of honey away for that free paint. So there's plenty of options. Go to the, a local painter and decorator and ask them if you can have a look through their shed and see if you can find some paint that they don't want anymore. A couple of pots of honey will buy you a fair bit of paint. So, anything, any paint you like, so long as it's acrylic, preferably exterior, 
and no matter what colour it is, the bees don't complain. It's only just to make us feel happier. So that's it as far as painting these boxes, paradise boxes, but they're the same as all my other woodwork, except the woodwork I don't paint the inside. Paradise ones get painted on the outside and the inside. So that's it from Trev's Bees on Facebook and YouTube. We'll catch around in the beehive.